Illinois okay. at Penn State. Uh, odds brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. Go ahead and sign up. Use the promo code. You can find it down in the description. Penn State, a 23-point favorite, total of 45.5. Penn State won last year 56-21. to They have won and covered three straight in this matchup. Uh, Illinois, all the stuff that came out with Brett Bielema and him talking about his players, and there's nobody on the two deep on offensive line that has provided anything to this team, which was really entertaining to listen to, but also can lose you a locker room very quickly. They have been playing hard for him. They've, they're not very good, and we all know that, but he, he said it out loud when most coaches would not. And part of that is why we like Brett, and it's also part of the reason why he just now got back into college football, I think. No, no, no. I think I think you can say that if you've got a relationship with those fans, teams. And I think I think you can't say it to the media if you've never told it to them. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I can I like, can believe like that. if y'all have, if y'all have talked about this, it's not a secret, okay? Like like if I stepped into the ring with, with, with Dante Wilder, like I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I don't if, if my trainer went out and was like, he's gonna get his ass kicked. Like everyone would be like, Oh, he's gonna lose that locker room. Nope. Nope, I'm pretty well aware that the other guy's better than me. I think <laughs> these kids know the guys on, on the other side of the field, in almost every game they play, they're better than them. That's the reason they're at Champagne. That doesn't mean you can't fight hard. That doesn't mean that one out of a thousand you won't win. Uh, it, it just It's just the truth. If he was coming out and saying something that was untrue about his team, then I would have a problem. I got to think he has told them this. I don't think it's going to mess up the locker room at all. Uh, the thing that scares me about this game is, yeah, you and I talked about it. The number of the number of people that are that are wagering on Penn State here, right? It, there are yep. a lot of people on Illinois. I looked; more money is coming in on Penn State than than the number of bets that are coming in on Penn State. So I guess that somewhat evens it up, but it does terrify me that the line was moving the opposite direction. But, man, I think I'm going to go against it anyway. You know, Brett, like you said, a lot of people taking that the the comments as, eh, hey, probably a little cringeworthy if you don't really understand the full scope of the remarks. It, in that situation, man, I wonder if this team doesn't, like, fight like hell this weekend. And with Sean Clifford out, I cannot trust that Penn State offense. I, I oh no! Yeah, yeah Penn State's gonna score on defense and special teams, but that that, that may I be don't it. know that they're gonna move the football much, man, because this offense looks bad without Sean. I will uh, I will take Illinois plus twenty three and and not try and trick myself here because I do not trust that Penn State offense un, uh, without Clifford in there. So I'm I'm rolling with the Illini plus twenty three here. What about you? Yeah, yeah, it's too many. It's too many points. I'm one hundred percent with you. It's too many points. I don't. I don't like it. No, I'm going to go Penn State. I know it's against everything I got. I'm just – too many people are on Illinois. There's just too many people there. I got to I gotta play the odds. Okay, okay. I can I can get down with it, which by the way – I don't like that. That's also might be my next head coach. I don't think that's going to happen, by the way. It pro- yeah, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I, think, I, think it's, I think it's now a two-horse race. Uh, who, who are the horses? I think it's Lane or it's, it's Mel. Okay, okay. I can get down with this. By I think Woodward's going to fight like hell to try to get his guy. And if he can't get his guy, I think he's going to be very happy with Mel. So I think that's it. Uh, that would make sense. Uh, by the way, Chris went 7-5 and five against the spread last week in our pick and I went 4-8. and eight. So Chris knocked yeah, out. Yeah, finally got yeah. above water. You certainly did. Uh, on the season, Chris, 30-42. and 42. I am 35-37, and 37, and that number is getting closer and closer every single week, it feels like. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.